Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Cold Steel 2. We are still in Keldig and we are trying to help the local people by fulfilling some requests while we wait for Elliot and V uh, to come back with any information they have from their reconnaissance uh, mission. So let's head over to the church because that's the only one we still have left and see if we can help them. I think it's going to be collecting some medicinal herbs of some kind. But I'm sure that he can tell us when we get there. Oh, hello there. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Well, the market manager mentioned that the church has been lacking in medicinal herbs lately. We'd like to see if we can help out in any way. Really? Well, that's very kind of you all. Hmm. Not that I look at you closely, I could swear I've met before. No. I must be imagining things. My apologies, regardless. I would very much like to take you up on your offer. Uh, yes, of course. What kind of herbs are you looking for exactly? Well, they are called healing herbs. While not exactly rare, I've been burning through my supply as of late. Obtaining even just one will be a great help. Healing herb, got it. Hmm, where have I heard that name before? We'll do what we can to find some for you. Hmm, I'd say the Grand Market is as good a place as any to start our search. Well, that is true. So m many uh, stores, there's bound to be one that has it in stock. Well, thank you very much. I'll await your return. Well, if it was so easy as just getting them from the Grand Market, wouldn't he already have gotten some? Because I'm pretty sure that... Uh, the priest, local priest would have at least some pool uh, on the local market. <laughs> Especially considering uh, Otto's involvement in the entirety of the town. But hey, there's no uh, harm in trying to uh, ask around a bit, is there? Ah, I cannot believe that Bertha's packed in it too. Me and her have been rivals for ages now, so it's a will be the same we owe her around. Granted. I know she'll be back sooner or later. Doing business is what she all about after all. <laughs> Same goes for everyone else too. They'll be back soon. Yes. Alright, so he's... Oh wait, can we just shop for them? Well, this fresh herb, but it's not the healing kind, I'm sure. Ah, we already have a taker there. Welcome, you're looking for something in particular? You wouldn't happen to have any healing herbs, would you? Hmm... Well, we're all out, unfortunately. You're sold out, but we're told that they're fairly common. Under Norcom circumstances, yes, but the demand for them's increased dramatically due to the war. The same applies to most other medicinal herbs too, seeing as how the trains aren't running as usual. In fact, it's become such an issue that I'm struggling to maintain a proper schedule for this store. Oh wow, I didn't realize the situation was that bad. This complicates things. Well, a little early uh, to be giving up now, don't you think? Healing herbs used to be standard household items, right? Hmm, so the fact that they aren't uncommon means they might grow somewhere nearby? Would you happen to know where they might be found, sir? Hmm, well, I could have sworn they grew somewhere not too far from here. Oh, I remember, it was Lunaria Nature Park. They don't exactly grow in large quantities though. Oh, that is close, and convenient at that. Well, talk about a coincidence. Well, it's been closed temporarily due to the war, but maybe the park ranger can help you out. Johnson is, is his name. I saw him leave town not too long ago, so he may already be at the park. Really? Well, I guess he uh, left not long after we met him. Understood. We'll check out the park. And <laughs> Thank you for your time. We're trekking back to Lunaria now? Then let's head over to the Western Highway exit. Right. Yeah, we might as well uh, go straight away. Because those uh, herbs will not pick themselves. And uh, if we don't come across anything between here and Lunaria Park, I will see you at the park. Alright, back at Lunaria Park. 
Now let's see if he really is already here. Because let's be honest, it wasn't closed when we left last time, was it? So it's not like we need to use the keys, but it's always a good form just to ask permission to enter, isn't it? Even though we have something stashed in there. Ah, oh, hey there. Come to pay me a visit? Oh, hello, Johnson. Actually, we came to ask you a question. Reen asked Johnson if you had any idea where he could find a healing herb. Hmm, a healing herb, huh? Yeah, I've seen those in the park before. This isn't really their season, so I can't see there being too many. But you should be able to find a few. I show you where to look, but the monsters in there are more dangerous than usual. So sorry I can't be of more help. Oh, not at all. You've been more than helpful enough already. We're used to handling monsters, so we should be able to take it from here. Yeah, you definitely look like you know what you're doing. Anyway, they grow in the shade around areas with lots of nutrition in the soil. Focus your search around tree roots. Thanks. We'll get right to that. Oh, sorry about that. As you can see, the park is technically open, but we currently don't have any visitors. Uh, I can't wait for this war to end so people will come here again. But enough of my grumblings. You should be able to find some healing herbs in the park if you look. They grow around the shade in areas rich with nutrients in the soil. I'd focus on searching around tree roots if I were you. Yeah, I think we saw a few plants that I thought were too separate of the rest of the environment that they had to be special. Maybe those are the healing herbs. Alright, let's have a look around. If I'm right, or if we need to search for, like, uh, shinies. And of course, if possible, let's try to avoid fighting those monkeys. I'm sure I can beat them, of course, but it's an unnecessary hassle. This could get tricky. Look sharp. Oh, my weapon always looks sharp. No worry. Is there an indicator on the map? There he is. Hello. Ah, yeah, see? The plant on the floor. I was right, wasn't I? But we only saw that one. So, would there be Let's more than that? My turn. Now. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, You're mine. You're done. We need to raise our strength Ready anymore by enemies like this. We've gained a few more levels right. since then. And, of course, an extra party member. Which helps a lot in fights. Okay, it's safe for now. Alright, let's see what it says. Obtained healing herb. Well, there we go. We finally found one. It definitely smells like something with medicinal properties, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure we've come across this herb before, haven't we? Oh, that's it. It was when we were helping Yusuf's uncle. His mother used it in a recipe of hers. Well, that brings back memories. Uh, <laughs> bad ones, of course. Uh, the less I have to think about that pompous fool, the better. <laughs> There's no need to hide it. We know you're just as worried about Prince Charming as Rene is. No, I'm not. Uh, knock it off. We need to get the move on. Do you want to go straight back to hand that over ring? Mm -hmm. So this is basically an indicator that there are no more here. Because just like with the other mission when we defeated the monster, it now gives us the opportunity to instantly head back to town. Because, uh, like I said before, when we were here the first time, I noticed these herbs, and I saw two in the mirror and one here. So I know there are no others, because we looked everywhere, we beat every enemy. So we might as well go back to Keldig, right? Okay, so let's do that. Yeah, let's head back. I don't want to keep Father Zerbal waiting for too long. Let's go then. Ah, welcome back. Were you able to find a herb for me? Well, I'm happy to say we did. 
Ah, goodness. This seems as fresh as it's potent. You have my thanks. I'm glad we could help. I hope it will be helpful in your work caring for those affected by this war. <laughs> you really are some upstanding youngsters. Ah, yes. Here, please take these. Though you may meet with difficult times, always remember that Aegeus is with you. The goddess rewards those who persevere in the face of great adversity. I wish you all luck in the future. Thank you, father. He is right, we still have lots of work ahead of us. That we do. Speaking of which, I think we should probably uh, about time we were heading back. Oh, to hear Elliot and Fee's report? Good point. Okay, back to the windmill for us. Alright, all the quests have been done. <laughs> Let's look at the map. Do we see any indicators that might be of use to us? I'm gonna talk to Otto before we leave, just in case. Just to confirm with him that uh, we fulfilled all the requests he's given us. Oh, regardless, it's a relief to know that you safely met up with one another. The situation here is rather distressing, but we'll do what we can to deal with it. Do take care out there and try not to push yourself too much. Uh, we'll try not to. Alright. Let's head uh, back to the windmill then. Alright, let's see if we can uh, get them on the radio. I do wonder how they'll react when they hear Reen's voice. We've still got some time until the call from Elliot and Fee. Should I stay here and wait for it? Yeah, because that's what we came here for, right? Or is it like a question like, do we want to make sure that we've talked to everyone? But we did. People didn't change their location anywhere, not even at the farm out here. So we should be okay, right? Uh, let me have one more check, just to make sure. Yeah, and they were all still the same. All right, let's uh, wait for them. We might as well stay here and wait for their next update. Do any of you guys want some coffee, by the way? I want some pretty good beans at the Grand Market. Well, sounds like just what I need. You can brew some even here? You must be a man who knows his coffee. I'll have uh, milk, thanks. They took a seat and enjoyed their coffee while waiting. And eventually, the time came for Elliot and Fee to report in. Testing, testing, beginning periodic update. This is Elliot. Do you read me, Machius? This is Machius. Yeah, the signal's perfectly clear. Fee's nearby too, right? How's everything on your end? We've surveyed the area around the Twin Dragons Bridge as best we could. As we expected, their defense is airtight. To pass through, you need a permit from either the Kreutzen Provincial Army or the Noble Alliance. Civilians and merchants don't stand a chance right now. This isn't going to be easy, no matter how you slice it. Alright then. Sounds like we'll need to devise a plan. Oh, and uh, by the way, I have some good news for the two of you. Huh? Hmm? Can you hear me, you two? <gasps> it, it can't be. Is that you, Reen? Is that really you? You're not pulling our leg, are you, Machias? <laughs> well, he has been spending some time here. He had to practice his Reen impressions. So who knows? <laughs> Ouch. Not that much of a jerk. <laughs> nope. It's really me. I met up with them not too long ago. And you remember Toval the Bracer, right? He and Celine are with me too. <laughs> Hello again, you two. Yo. Long time no speak. <gasps> I can't believe what I'm hearing. This isn't a dream, is it? Ow! Nope, it's real. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he pinched him. <laughs> if you're gonna pinch someone to check, pinch yourself. 
Come on, stop messing around. <laughs> you two are the same as ever. A anyway, we're really happy that you're all right. You're in that windmill now, right? Is there any way we can meet up? That was what we were planning on discussing with you, actually. We'd like to come over to you. Do you have a safe place in mind that we could use as a meeting point? <sighs> How about point D in front of the Twin Dragons Bridge? It's not visible from the surrounding area. So the Provincial Army shouldn't notice us if we meet there. Point D was the one on the outer edge of East Celtic Highway, right? All right, that should be fine. We'll head over there right away. Okay, we'll head out too. I'll see you later. Over. Nice outfits again. I do love their uh, non-student uh, outfits. Elliot Gregg. And V. Clausel. Oh, oh, thank goodness Reen's okay. Thank you so much, Adios. Weird that he's with Toval, though. I get Celine being there, but why a bracer? Well, a luck of the dice, I bet. <laughs> we'll just have to ask once we see them. But the most important part is he's okay. Feels like we're finally making some real progress. Yeah, agreed. Anyway, let's get going. I can't wait to see Rain again. Same here. Is she seeing something? Fee? What's wrong? Mm, go on ahead. I'll catch up. There's something I need to check first. I bet she noticed something. Well, let's make our way to point D. It's along the highway across the stream. No problem. We're gonna need to stay sharp if it's near Twin Dragon Bridge though. Well, that's certainly true. The Provincial Army could spot us while we're out in the open at any time. We'll be counting on you to show us the way, Machias. Well, just leave it to me. Well, we've wasted enough time, so let's get going. You can now travel to East Celtic Highway 3 from the eastern edge of East Celtic Highway 2. Alright. Can't interact with the radio anymore. Alright, I bet uh, let's just get going. So that means that just past the lookout point, we just have to move on forward. We're now allowed to. Didn't we check that location before as well? Oh no, that was on the other side towards uh, Trista, of course. Yes. Ha, ha! Well, shouldn't be too hard to get there. Especially if we uh, try avoiding contact with the local populace. There's the Transcontinental Railroad. We're not too far off from Berea Hard. Yeah, I hope Eusis is safe. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, because despite their rivalry, ha, ha! I do believe they have become friends no matter what they uh, deny. Ooh! Let's wrap this up! Oh, thank God, only one. Let's move! Arcus, activate! Sure thing! <laughs> Gotta be it's careful, because they have a pretty high evade rate, uh, these ones. Take this! Yeah! Ready to go! Hmm. Well, that's that! Yeah, and that's why you always just try and fight and beat them. Just for a little bit of extra finances and just not to get at a disadvantage against them. Alright. So should we be close to here? Might as well uh, look closely everywhere. We might find some new herbs that we need to remind ourselves for when we do other quests. This way leads to the bridge, right? Yeah. It's not that far now. Sit. Ha. I'll let you know when we ha. return. Ha. Enemy sighted. Could you guys talk faster out. next time? <laughs> Try this. Fire. Ha. 
My turn. Leave this to me. Okay, we have to be a bit careful because I can imagine that that little raccoon type fella can probably uh, faint us. Take this. Yeah. I don't mind losing that uh, zero art as long as the enemies do not get our heals. My turn. Sure thing. Right. Take this. Let's move. Sit. Sure thing. Well, that's that. Yeah, not too bad. I do notice that a lot of enemy groups give you material in this uh, game right now. In the previous one, there were just like a few specific ones, but now it does seem that everyone is giving it. Oh, yeah, and the reason I'm going by the waterline is, of course, to just to check if there are no any fishing spots. Because we don't want to miss those. Who? Come here. Ha! Now's our chance. Let's get him. Triple advantage. Here I go. All right, let's do this. Leave it, Leave to, it me. to me. I'm up. Yeah, take a little bit more Try seriously. This. Fire! Again, Leave with this the miss. You do miss a lot, do you? Eat that! Right! Locked and loaded! You won't get away! They're off balance! Got you! And that's and how you handle things, uh, Marquez. <laughs> Impressive work. I did it. Separate mass. I do still wonder if uh, Tofal would be like a new permanent member of our team, or if he's just here until our team is big enough. Like when we meet up with Elliot and Vita, he says, "You know, guys, you guys handle this. I will go over reconnaissance and uh, doing my own thing." Because I can't see him chance. do that. Let's get him. My turn. Ha! In all honesty, the longer he's with us, the better it is. Because I don't mind having uh, other this. characters than class 7 in our party. It changes up things really nicely, Ready doesn't it? Huh. Well, and the main that. reason I'm asking is because he doesn't have a lot of moves. Um, we've already gained a few more levels, but we haven't learned any new ones. With Reen, we improved one of his older moveset. Ha! Ha! And I feel if we learn a few more moves with Tovel, that will be an indicator that he'll be back or he will be a permanent member of our team. Okay, take a left here. Guess this is our point D then. Hmm. Now what else is a hat? Twin Dragon Bridge. They're both that. A lot more area to cover, and that's for sure. And these things look like uh, overgrown ticks. Now's our chance. Let's get them. Here I go. All right, let's do this. Understood. Leave it to me. Ready to go. Leave this to me. Take this. Sure thing. Leave this to me. Eat that. Oh, that takes care of them. Yeah, with motivation, they can take out any uh, group. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Oh, I was so hoping that after me saying that I wanted more moves, that right at the next level, yikes! Damn, that's a uh... tricky. Look sharp. Well, I think the only thing that's looking sharp right here is his teeth. Uh, you know what? No, I want. I want to beat him. Ha! Si! Ha! Si! Ha! Si! Stay calm. Doesn't seem like I can like get more than a single sure advantage. It's fine. One, two. Let's move. 
All right, let's do this. Understood. Leave it to me. Just to make sure that uh, right. we have a little bit more time in order to Locked and loaded. bust them up. You won't get away. Now's our chance. Three. Three. Let's do this. Leave it to me. Take this. Six. Six. Oh, and not great. You see, I right, knew we had something like that. Ha! You don't swing around something right. like that and not uh, being able ah! to faint people. All right, let's keep moving. Well, here we are. This is point D. Hmm, yeah. That does seem like the kind of area that the Alliance wouldn't bother patrolling. No, we just need to wait for Elliot and V to... Green! <laughs> I'm not seeing things, am I? It really is you, right? Yep. It really is me. It's great to finally see you again, Elliot. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. I can't believe you're here. Likewise. Can't help but feel a little bad, though. I'm sorry for how things happened. I didn't mean to worry you so much. No, it's fine. I had faith that you would come back to us one day. That you were out there alive and well someplace, even if we didn't know where that someplace was. Thanks, Elliot. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Welcome back to the team, Rain. Oh yeah, what happened to Fee? I thought you were with her. I was, but right before we took off to meet with you guys, she seemed to notice something and told me she'd catch up later. I'm sure she won't be long. I'm back. Like he said. <laughs> Whoa. Oops. A little dramatic, don't you think? <laughs> well, I think they're allowed to be a little bit dramatic. It's been so long as he didn't know anything about his faith. Ow, ow, ow. I'm not sure that was such a good idea, Fee. It kind of spoiled the reunion if you broke a bone or something. Or me, for that matter. <sighs> What's wrong? Don't tell me you really did hurt yourself. Nope, I'm good. It just sunk in that it's really you. <laughs> Who else would it be? I'm happy to see you're okay. <laughs> thanks for coming back to us, Reen. <laughs> and thanks for giving me a place to come back to. <laughs> well, that's all of us, together again. <laughs> Can't help but crack a smile when watching them, can you? Don't know if I've ever seen anyone so happy to see their friends again. I should hope so. It wasn't easy making it happen. After Reen was finally reunited with Elliot and V, everyone took turns catching each other up on what had happened while they were apart before shifting the discussion to what their next move would be as a group. Well, that's one region down. Only two more regions to go in uh, the hunt for the rest of Class 7. Must be feeling pretty good about that, huh, Reen? Well, you bet. It wouldn't have been possible without your help either. Well, it does sound that way from what you've said. So, on behalf of us all, thank you for everything you've done for Reen. You too, Celine. Thanks. Oh, what are you thanking me for? I didn't do anything. Well, that's not true at all. You were the one who took Green away from Trista. You're the reason the rest of us could stand up and fight without worrying about him. And if not for that, I thought we'd be here together like this now. I'd say you did more than enough to deserve thanking, so thanks. Well, Elliot's right. So have some thanks from me too. Oh, if, sil if cats could blush. <laughs> oh, I swear you guys are the worst at making a huge deal out of absolutely nothing. 
<laughs> However it happened, you're all here now. So, where to next, guys? Well, it's not plainly obvious enough where Ring goes, we go. No matter how dangerous the situation may be, we'll overcome it as a team. What Maki has said, we still have to find everyone else too, and rescue Princess Elvin and Elise from the Alliance on top of that. Yep, that's not uh, open to negotiation. Thanks guys, your help means a lot to me. So should we go back to Velomar now then? We'll be able to use him to return to Ymir as soon as his mana is recovered. Well, that's one option. I was expecting that we'd be away for a while longer, but we're going to need a base of operations at some point. I don't think it's the option we should choose though. Mm, as opposed to what? You got something else in mind? I do. While returning to Emir is a valid choice, why not keep going and try to get to Gorelia Fortress instead? Oh, I didn't think of that. That's not a bad idea. We were trying to get there to contact the 4th Armored Division ourselves before you came. Still, the Twin Dragon Bridge is one of the Alliance's most important strongholds. Trying to pass through there is gonna be risky. Oh, I know, but I think it's a risk worth taking. It could allow us to find out what the situation in the Imperial Army is, how Instructor Nightheart is doing, and above all, it should give us a better idea how the war is developing. Knowing that should help us better decide what path we should take as a class. Hmm. Well, it does make sense. So far, you've just been watching things unfold from the outside. This could give you an opportunity to see what's happening on the inside, right? Yeah, right. Of course, it also wants to make sure that Lieutenant General Greg knows his son is safe too. Ah, thanks, Reen. <laughs> I can already see him reacting, Oh, my boy! <laughs> and he then hugs him all crazily with the entire army watching. Alright, I'm in. Let's do this. Same here. But it's gonna be a totally dangerous, you know. Yeah, but uh, we know as well as anyone that sometimes danger is worth facing. And this is one of those times, so let's go see Dad and figure out what we're going to do. Agreed. I'm glad you're with me on this. <sighs> you're in a bad enough situation as it is without making things harder for yourselves. <laughs> Let kids be kids, Celine. It's more fun that way. If that's what you decided, then sign me up too. I know the geography of the area up ahead pretty well. Of course, we appreciate your support. Well, with that settled, now we need to find a way to get to the other side of the bridge. Indeed, we need a permit to get by it, through ordinary means. Yeah, but they're definitely on the lookout for us. Even without our uniforms on, there's a fair chance we uh, might get caught. Well, we've got one choice left then. Oh, what's that? Well, I found a route that might get us through unnoticed earlier. There's still a chance we might get caught, but I think it's worth a try. Really? Well, sounds promising. Well, if no one has any objections, then I say we try her way. Can you show us the way, Fee? Yep, let's roll. We just need to head down to the bridge. And we shouldn't have any problems unless we try to pass through the checkpoint. Okay, we all ready to go? Elliot and Fee join the party. Reen and Elliot can now use Overdrive when linked with one another. Reen and Fee can now use Overdrive when linked with one another. Well, I did assume that, to be honest. You can now change the party order and switch party members in and out of battle. Uh, when you have five or more party members, you can organize a party in the camp menu by selecting tactics. Yeah, this is probably all still the same. Switching in combat as well. You can now use the burst link attack. Ah, I missed that. Because that's good. Very strong. An attack on all enemies performed by two linked pairs, which consumes the bravery points you gain from repeated assist attacks. Yes. So now we have the ability to gain 5 points, which means we can recover from rush way quicker and use it again in combat, or we can save it up for burst. Just like before. All right, pretty good to me. All right, so there is one thing. Let's check their equipment. Yeah, I thought so. So there is some 
Well, as I say, we could go back to Keldic just to uh, upgrade the weapon and maybe give him some better armor. And who do we want in the team? Because I do really want to fight with V. Because she's just really, really good. And Elliot's, of course, a really nice healer as well. So they both have a valid point into our party. And don't discount uh, Tovold yet, of course. He is strong in his own right. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so... Let's put him back... And Elliot as backup. And then we can link up like this, and you like that. So a full roster. Check out their quartz, which they have. Cannon seems logical. I assume that Cannon will have heal, yes. Mm, this is nice to have for. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought it was the same element. Oh, it's not uh, upgraded enough. Alright, that uh, seems somewhat logical. Now you, of course, Raven, which we love for the speed. Yeah, I think uh, going back to town just to upgrade their equipment and getting them some extra shirts. I don't think that's a bad thing. Just We have the money for it and time is not an issue. We can just go back and uh, check all of that out. Alright, so that means... <laughs> I'm so happy we're together again. More people's always a good thing. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Well, maybe a slight idea. Let's hang a left. Ah! Now's our chance. We can do this. I'm up. Well, technically, <laughs> Fee, you should be right for us heading that left over there. Sit. Right. Ah! It's my turn. Hey. I'm up. <laughs> Sorry. That's it for you. Alright, so what I'm going to do, because we clearly need to move on ahead to one of the two twin dragon bridges. So we need to explore this area up ahead here to look for chests, kind of enemies, kind of surroundings, that kind of stuff. Maybe even water where we can fish in. But for now, I want to head back to Keldig, uh, change up their equipment, upgrading their weapons, and just arrange some uh, cores that we can buy so they have at least after the slot filled and upgrade it to level one because i think that's where we want to be at least here so i think i'm going to leave the episode here so in between i can go back to Keldek and do the upgrades and next time we can start from this very same location unless when i go back to Keldek, everyone has different text because if that's the case you know what we're going to do we're going to do a roundup of Keldek and talk to everyone but i have a sneaking suspicion that the game wants us to move forward to the Trin dragon bridge and if that's the case, then there's a really big chance that all the text will still be the same. But that's for me to find out, and you for to discover in the next episode. But until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that right. like button, subscribe, and be back next time as you try to surpass Trin Dragon Bridge. See you then. Bye-bye.